right, GMOG Sports TV back with another one. So, breaking just just in, Deontay Wilder decides to retain his trainer, Mark Breland. Um, I'll read to you the official statement by Deontay Wilder. Now, um, I did a video previously saying that he was fired. Turns out the original so-called source wasn't really a source. It was fake news. So yeah, people make mistakes. I, I put that stuff out there and I, and I guess what? I own up to it. I own up to it. I retracted that statement. So my video that I did previously that says he was fired, I put he was fired with question marks. So it was basically a question mark questioning whether he was fired or not. But it's official as of today with reliable sources, uh, reputable sources, ESPN, ABC, etc., reporting that Deontay Wilder has kept his trainer, Mark Breland. So I do have to give props to Deontay Wilder for doing that. But let me read to you the direct quote by uh, Deontay Wilder. He says, quote, I'm a warrior. I feel the same way I felt on fight night. If I have to go out on my shield. Wilder said ESPN in a statement Friday night, but I understand that my corner and my team has my best interest at heart. Mark Breland is still part of my team and our team looks forward to preparing for the trilogy. Hey, hey, listen, I, I my channel is about being objective. You know, I call a spade a spade, but I, I call it like I see it, but I'm, I'm objective. Um, and I, like I said, you know, this channel, if you want unfiltered commentary pertaining to boxing from an objective point of view, this is the channel for you right here. And if I'd said something previously that was contradictive or uh, wasn't the right statement, I will call myself out and retract the statement or, you know, make a correction, which I'm doing now. So, um, again, Deontay Wilder decides to keep, retain his trainer, Mark Breland, co-trainer of Deontay Wilder. And with Jay Diaz, now here's here's the thing I want to talk about before I let before I go. A couple of things I want to say about this. You know, it's good that Deontay Wilder decide to you know retain Mark Breland after Mark Breland um, decided to basically save his life. Mark Breland is a former fighter, um, Olympic gold medalist, incredible amateur uh, background, um, just incredible boxer period so he has the experience first-hand experience and knowledge to understand what a fighter goes through in that ring right he he understands it which is why he was he threw in the towel unlike his counterpart jay diaz who said he disagreed with that unlike his counterpart jay diaz who threw mark breland under the bus by saying he didn't agree with that shit and the fact that uh there's uh stories circulating that saying after the fight, Mark Breland was banned from doing interviews and banned from the locker room of Deontay Wilder. So the way y'all treated that man after the fight and throw him under the bus, y'all better give him a raise, Deontay Wilder. Give him a raise or some shit like that. Give him some kind of a higher percentage of, of you know, training you. Because again, he saved your life and you mistreated him after the fight. I understand emotions are high, you're upset and all that, but there's nothing bigger than boxing after boxing. So you want to have all your faculties in order. You want to have, you want to be upright. You want to, you want to be coherent. Life after boxing is bigger than boxing. Your family is bigger than boxing. Your children is bigger than boxing. All right. So again, this is bigger than boxing. It's about you and your livelihood, your health and your faculties and keeping that all in order. That's what it's about. All right. You better thank Mark Breland for that. Thank Mark Breland for that. So he, this, this man deserves a raise. Um, I say Jay Diaz. And I've, I've been saying Jay Diaz needs to be fired. Jay, Jay Diaz ain't be teaching you shit since you've been a damn professional. He's been with you since, you know, day one, but he hasn't taught you shit. So either you get rid of Jay Diaz or, stop, or dock his pay. <laughs> you know, one or the other. Because JD's ain't, ain't teach you a goddamn thing. All right? A goddamn thing. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, much props to Deontay Wilder for retaining trainer Mark Breland. Um, 
it seems like the trilogy that he's signing up for the third fight is official now. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. Like I said, you know, um, you know, Deontay Wilder this past week has been proclaiming all kinds of excuses, even throwing his trainer, Mark Breland, under the bus. Uh, of course, the costume being too heavy, um, blaming a referee, blaming a whole bunch of things. Excuses are shit. Like I said, excuses are shit. We just basically want you to own up to your mistakes, correct your mistakes, and bounce back. You know, of course I want Deontay Wilder to bounce back. He just has to basically own up to his mistakes. And I haven't seen him actually publicly say that. You know, if he don't own up to his mistakes and say, hey, I did this and did this wrong, or I identify what I have to do to get to get better, then I can say he possibly has a shot. But until, until then, if he comes in with that same attitude, yeah, I'm going to get him with that right hand. And you're looking for that one shot, it ain't going to work, bro. It's not going to work. And I've been saying that. I've been saying that. You, you can't keep looking for that one shot. It's not going to work. Because it's just so easy to read your body language. Just like uh, uh, Sugar Hill Stewart said. You, if you in your, if you in this position right here where your right hand is cocked and your legs are wide, you know what you know what he's going to do. Throw that right hand. So what do you do? Faint. Faint. Throw a jab to the body and smother you. Very simple. And just pressure you just like that. Effective aggression. And that's exactly what Tyson Fury did. Easy to read. So if you got to do so you got you to do something else to disguise that right hand. I'm not going to give the game plan away. Hopefully, Mark Breland and, and J.D. This, J. Diaz comes up with a game plan to counter what Tyson Fury is doing. You know? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But anyway... Those are, my th- those are my thoughts on that family. Give your comments down below. All right. Uh, Mark Breland is retained as co-trainer for Deontay Wilder. And he is set to face Tyson Fury again in the trilogy this summer. So stay tuned for that. All right, family. Until next time, make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. GMOG Sports TV. Signing out. Peace.